Well, congratulations. Uh, you've managed to make it through video number three. Uh, in the first video, I shared with you how you can go out and find real estate deals using real estate agents, um, bandit signs, and Craigslist ads. Um, obviously, there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. That's just three quick ways, um, ways I really enjoy that we find very effective in my office. Um, and again, in the workshop, it's important that you attend the workshop because you'll learn these in greater detail along with additional strategies. In video number two, I shared with you just some capital sources using uh, hard money lenders, private money lenders, and private capital sources as well. Uh, really important. We spend a lot of time with that in the workshop. It's important that you attend so that you can learn this information. And, um, and again, you know, part of you being here and spending some time with me is um, obviously there's a reason why you want to do this. You want to um, have an, a better lifestyle. You want to be able to make more money, drive a nicer car, take vacations, whatever it may be, provide for an ailing parent. Or one of my favorites is ensure retirement. I mean, everyone's working so hard. I, I just read, read a statistic recently that 72% of Americans who reach age 65 are financially broke. They have less than $10,000 to their name. So I don't know how you can work for so many years, 40 years of your life, and end up with only $10,000. But whatever the situation is, whatever the cause of that is, can be remedied by investing in real estate. Obviously, you need to know the strategies of how to do it, and so that's why it's so important that you attend the workshop. In this uh, video, what I'd like to share with you is you know, now that you found a deal, now that you've found the money to do a deal and you've got it fixed up, how on earth do you get rid of it? Uh, because the payday really comes when you sell the property. You've got to be able to buy it, you've got to be able to rehab it, and obviously you need to be able to get rid of it to cash in your check. So um, again, it depends on the markets. When the markets, uh, there's two kinds of markets for the most part. There's a buyer's market where buyers are really in control of the market. And there's a seller's market where sellers are in control of the market. So what happens is when the market's really hot, sellers are in control. So the best way to get real, rid of real estate is online. Uh, you may not even have to hire an agent. I know if you're a real estate agent, you're cringing that I just said that, but the honest truth is if the market's really hot, um, you know, in the heyday in 2003, 2004 in Las Vegas, you didn't even have to use a real estate agent. You didn't even have to put a sign in your front yard. I'm gonna screw the statistic up, but if I recall, an average home was listed for less than, I think, 34 minutes. I think that is the number that sticks in my head. So basically, you put a house out there, and with the, with the Internet being what it is, you can put it out on Craigslist. You can turn around and put it on a multiple, I mean, um, syndicate it out to a bunch of uh, multiple sites. And within 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, you'd have an offer, and multiple offers on a house. So it really didn't make a lot of sense to hire a real estate agent to sell your house because why would you pay the 6% or 5% commission when you can do it yourself online, you know, type, 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 place an ad, and boom, next thing you know, it's sold. So that would be in a really hot seller's market. Um, in a buyer's market, we're, you know, okay, let me, let me rewind a little bit. So in a seller's market, the sellers are in control, and the buyers are kind of, you know, just at whatever the seller, at the seller's whim, whatever the seller's going to price it for, um, they're going to pay, and they'll pay over price because multiple buyers are going to place multiple bids on a property. So a property might say, "Hey, I'm selling a property," or a seller might say, "I'm selling your property for two hundred fifty thousand dollars," and next thing you know, there's ten offers, fifteen offers, thirty offers on a house, and the two fifty ends up being two seventy five, three hundred thousand uh, dollars. And markets, different markets, have seen that. San Diego has seen it. Los Angeles has seen it. Seattle has seen it. Boston has seen it. Miami has seen it. Um, Las Vegas and, and Phoenix have seen it. Um, so that's kind of a seller's market. In a buyer's market, um, that's where things get a little more difficult. In a buyer's market, sellers are having difficulty selling their home or they're just taking longer to sell. So when you're in a buyer's market where the buyers are really in control, then how do you get rid of the property? Well, the best thing you can do is hire a great real estate agent um, because a great real estate agent that knows what they're doing knows how to sell real estate. So this is one of the industries where the absolute rookie who just got their license last week ironically charges you the same amount of money as the top producing agent. So here in San Diego, I can hire a top producing real estate agent like a Patty McKelvey or a Ruth Pugh or a James Jam. Um, these are top producing agents who have been in the industry for years and years here in San Diego, a Jim Carmichael type, and these guys do a lot of business. And they've got it down. They're methodical. They've got a machine. They've been in the industry for 20 years. They know exactly what to do. So when I want to sell a property in a market that might be a little more challenging to sell a property, why would I give it to the rookie agent? Why would I not hire the best agent in town, the absolute best agent in town, because they're going to charge me the same amount of money? So what's really great is um, how you flip your real estate is really going to depend on what kind of market you're in, what kind of competition is out there. 
So again, if it's a if it's a buyer's market, hire the best agent in town. I mean, and what's great about agents is they understand all the paperwork, they have all the connections, and they're doing all the hard work. Your job is not to do all the hard work. Your job is to focus primarily on two things, finding deals and finding money. That's your most important thing. You're, again, if you're a contractor, you don't want to be fixing places. Have your subs do it. If you like swinging a hammer and you like painting walls and you like that, stop. That's not where the money is to be made. The money is made in finding deals, funding deals, and delegating the sales to someone else. Now, with that being said, there are a lot of things you can do that are proactive to help the sale of real estate. And again, one of the things we like is we like the internet. Uh, the internet is just a place where everything that's for sale is out there. So what's great, and it's free. So it's really great to start using your Craigslist to run ads on your own property. Really important when you've got a property to load up the pictures of your property. Have professional photos taken. Don't use your, your iPhone, your smartphone. Don't take them yourself. Hi, spend the money to hire a professional photographer. I can't tell you how important that is because a picture is worth a thousand words. So a crappy picture is not worth very many words, but a really nice picture is worth a lot of words. So again, we want to have professional quality pictures of our property. After all, it is the gem. It's the gold nugget you're trying to sell. So you have those professional pictures made, have a real estate agent list it. You can turn around and use things like Craigslist and all the syndicated websites to sell it. You can use Zillow and Trulia and Redfin and Realtor.com. Load these property on all these online sources. Um, another, thing you can, another thing you can do is obviously you can place ads in the paper. It sounds odd to kind of go old school using the newspaper, but again, what happens, a lot of people do in fact still read the newspaper. There are a lot of people, especially people who are baby boomers, that still don't subscribe to the internet, as odd as that may sound to many of you. Um, so basically use that. Always use social media. Uh, use your Facebook and your Google and your LinkedIn. Um, to let people know what you're doing and obviously to show pictures of the progress of your work. You don't want to wait till the job's done to get it out there. It's probably pretty smart in social media to kind of leak out some of the information as you're doing the work so people can kind of see the progress taking place. Um, some people will start tracking that. They'll, they'll start telling friends and family about a house in a certain neighborhood that one of their people on Facebook, a friend of theirs on Facebook, is starting to do the renovation and they see the progress. That's really exciting. So with a bit of enthusiasm, they're sharing it with family and friends. So um, when the house is finally done, they can reveal those photographs. So that's a great place to sell real estate. Um, there are also flyers, flyer, flyer companies that will email the flyer to all the agents, every single agent in your town, which is nice so that it gets right in front of their face. That's important. Um, open houses, things of that nature really don't statistically work, but it's kind of foolish not to at least try to have an open house. Um, actually, signs in front of your house while you're doing the remodel is, is, is very powerful to have a sign out there so neighbors see the gentrification of the home taking place and they will let people know. It's really important to talk to your neighbors. It's great to go door knocking to your neighbors. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, you, you'd be surprised when we do rehabs, we have people bake us cookies and bring us gifts. Um, they come to our open house, they bring us flowers. We, literally weekly, we get people that come by and like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you for fixing that ugly house. We're so grateful. It's beautiful. Can I come in and take a look at it? So again, you have followers. You have enthusiastic followers that are watching what you're creating and they will go out and they will and obviously they want their friends and their family to live there. So, you know, let other people be the um, kind of be the word of mouth and spread what you're doing. So um, real estate agents, um, family, friends, social media, neighbors in the area of the rehab. There's a lot of things you can do to kind of be proactive in terms of marketing your property to other sources. So again, just a quick snippet to get your brain thinking about uh, what's possible out there. Again, in the workshop, I know I've said this before, but it's really important that you attend the workshop. I know life can get in the way a lot of times. A lot of times, uh, kids got to be picked up, and you got to go to church, and you got to go to work, and you got to take the trash out, and you've got to go see family and friends, and the best, you know, the ball game is on. Got to watch the ball game, or, or your favorite sitcom is on. So it's really easy to get caught up in um, some things that are not so important in life. Um, so for whatever reason you're watching these videos, for whatever reason there was something that hit your, your heart that said, you know what, I, 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 this is interesting to me. I, I want to go out and learn how to flip homes. I, I, you know, I want or need to make more money to ensure retirement or to pay bills or to financially get ahead. Um, 
I can, I, all I can tell you is real estate has served me very well. Um, I graduated as just run of the mill, C average kid in high school, got thrown out of college not once, but twice. So um, there's nothing really unique that I have other than just experience. So um, that's not, it doesn't take rocket science. If you have a desire and you really genuinely have a need and a want, uh, I personally don't know of a better tool than real estate to go out there and make money. Is it get rich quick? Are you gonna make a million dollars the next 30 days? Of course not. Uh, can you make a lot of money? Absolutely. Can you make you know, 15, 25, $50,000 in 90 days? Absolutely. Uh, can you make a million dollars? Sure you can, but you're just not gonna do it in 90 days. It's gonna take a lot of hard work to make a million dollars. But what a wonderful place to go and do it. Be able to find real estate, be able to fix it up, gentrify an area. And guess what? As a result of being able to do that, you get paid really, really well. It's a very lucrative business. Uh, which shouldn't be any surprise. I mean, the last time I checked, people buy and sell real estate all around the entire world. So obviously, um, someone's making money doing this. So why not you? So again, you know, attend the workshop, uh, do what it does, and make it a priority for you. And uh, I just look forward to your success. So the best of success to you. And I look forward to meeting you at some point in the future. Take care. Bye bye.